In this demonstration, we're going to cover um, plasma cleaning of specimens using the Fashoni Instruments Model 1020 Plasma Cleaner. So with our particular plasma cleaner, what we do is we keep it off when it's not actively in use with the double tilt holder inserted and the chamber under vacuum. So basically the holder is left under vacuum when not in use. Um, we don't leave it on and continuously pumping because that puts unnecessary wear and tear on the pump. Um, some other facilities, they may opt to just leave it um, on, or not on, sorry, but they may opt to just leave it off. And with this uh, plug inserted um, and maybe not under vacuum or under vacuum when it's not in use, um, you don't want to leave <clears throat> the uh, chamber here just open continuously though um, when the system is is not in use obviously because that provides a means for things like dust to get in there so anyways what we have to do first is we have to get the double tilt holder out and so to do that we have to turn the unit on so on the lower right here you won't be able to see it but there's a switch back here turn on the switch that turns on the unit. And so what this does is it starts uh, pumping out the chamber by default when you turn it on from being off. So what we have to do now is turn off the pump. On this front panel here, there's the vacuum on off button. And you just press, press that. You can hear the pump turns off. And now we're gonna wait just a few seconds here and now I should be able to pull out my double tilt holder with little resistance. Okay. And my double tilt holder's out. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to load a specimen into the holder. And then once that's done, um, we will resume the video and talk about what to do next. Okay, so I've loaded a sample into the holder, and so now <clears throat> to plasma clean, we obviously have to put the holder back in to the chamber. Okay, so it goes in like this. You wanna make sure you push the holder all the way up so it's flush with the end. Um, this is an FEI holder. If you're using a Joel holder, um, it will have a different metal adapter here for the front port, but this is an FEI port, um, so just bear that in mind. Um, it doesn't matter how the holder is oriented when you put it in, that's completely inconsequential. So now that we have it in, we need to start pumping the chamber back down. So we come back here to the front panel, and we hit vacuum on, and that's going to start pumping. So down here, you can see a vacuum gauge, those red LED bars. And before we proceed, what we want is for there only to be three of those LED bars lit uh, on, the far, on the far right. So you can actually see the number of bars lit goes down as the vacuum gets better. Uh, one other thing to mention here while we're waiting for that the process gas used for the plasma cleaning should be an argon oxygen mix. Um, this is 20% argon, 80% um, or sorry, mistake there. 20% oxygen, 80% argon. And you want to use something that's around that, um, which is what I believe is recommended for the instrument. Uh, you want to make sure that. Your gauge pressure is 10 PSI. Um, on this instrument, we always keep the valve open, this valve and this valve, and so you never really have to worry about modifying either of these. Uh, the system won't leak gas, except when it's actually plasma cleaning. So really, once you have this set, you can just leave this valve and this valve open and leave it alone. Okay, so. <clears throat> It's going to take maybe a minute more, and so once this is at three bars, 
uh, we will resume the video and talk about what to do next. Okay, so the vacuum gauge is at three bars. So we've got good enough vacuum now to start the cleaning. So here on the front panel, uh, we have to actually input the cleaning time. Um, if you have an Omnipro grid, then usually one to two minutes is sufficient, uh, provided that your sample is not carbonaceous and can therefore withstand the plasma. So the plasma by its very nature will attack carbonaceous material. I'm just gonna set this for set this for one minute and three seconds. Once you set the time here, you have to hit set, you should see it then on the display. The reason I added in three extra seconds was just that there's usually a delay between when you tell the system to start cleaning and when you actually have the plasma um, active. Okay. So now, I hit the plasma on off button. Okay. And if I look now inside the chamber, I can see that pinkish glow that is characteristic of an oxygen uh, based plasma. And so this will run for the time specified and then turn off automatically. And then once that's done, we will uh, resume the, the video. So the cleaning is done. You can see the plasma turned off automatically. So now we need to turn off the uh, pump to the chamber so we can get the holder out. And then you come here to the front panel, hit the vacuum on off button, and you can hear that pump now spinning down. You want to wait until that pump is spun all the way down, and then we should be able to take the holder out. It should only take a few more seconds. take this out and it comes right out okay and so now at this point um, we can go ahead and you want to insert this in the holder into the TM column uh, basically immediately after you take it out of the plasma cleaner because that's when it's going to be uh, the cleanest okay now while that's happening um, we obviously don't want to leave this opening to the plasma cleaner exposed like this, and we don't want to leave the plasma cleaner on either. Okay, so the way we deal with that is I'm going to go ahead and just set the uh, double tilt holder down here for a second. Okay, so that's why you have this plug, it's a specially designed plug that goes in the opening here. Okay, so that keeps it from, or keeps the opening from collecting dust or, or anything else. And now my plasma cleaner is making noise, okay? And clearly that's not a good thing. That's acoustic noise that can affect your, uh, your specimen stability. So we want to turn this off. So I'm going to come back around here again. And there's my off switch. Okay. And now the unit's off. And now I can go ahead and um, perform my TEM session. And so <clears throat> we will resume this now um, or after uh, the TEM session has been performed and what to do when we're ready to um, <clears throat> uh, put everything back into the idling state. All right, so we're done with the TEM session, and so now we're going to, um, now it depends on, on how your facility operates. Some users may opt, or facilities may opt to just leave this plug inserted with the system not under vacuum. Some may wish to pump the uh, system back down with that plug in there. Uh, what we do is we keep the double tilt holder in there and under vacuum with the unit off when it's not actively in use because that just helps keep the holder clean. So anyways, what we do then, come back here, 
turn the unit on, come back here to the front panel, turn the vacuum off, wait a few seconds here and then this plug should come right out. So now we're going to take the double tilt holder and we're going to put it back into the plasma cleaner. Okay, that's back in and make sure that's all the way um, flush with, um, with that flange. Turn on the vacuum. And once again, we're going to wait for this to get down to three bars on the LED gauge here. And once that happens, uh, we will again resume the demo. Okay, so we can see on the gauge here, we've got three bars lit. So our vacuum is now basically as good as it's going to be. So now the only thing left to do is to come around to the back here turn off the unit and now the pump is off but the holders still under vacuum and that helps to keep it clean um, obviously what you don't want to do is turn off the unit or off the vacuum while the unit is still on because then you will lose the vacuum so while it's still pumping <clears throat> you come back here and you turn off the unit that preserves uh, the vacuum that you've uh, established and so this concludes um, the demo of using uh, the Shoney Instruments 1020 Plasma Cleaner.